what's your plan after February 16th when you're, you two are two of the biggest celebrities in LA? <laughs> what are you going to do with this fame? <laughs> I'm going to watch Black Panther again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch it two or three I'm going to go, can you give me a free ticket? And try to and unpack this. Yeah. Yes. They can give you a free ticket, go, take my money. Yeah. Yes. I lied to you. Buy uh, some <laughs> tickets for some kids in Harlem. You yeah. know, go to Oakland, buy yeah, some cause, tickets. Yeah. Like, go see this. Go see this. Yeah. You go see a this. young black king. You know, yeah. it's fantastic. No, it is fantastic. Yes. Now, you had such a huge year last year with Get Out, mm -hmm. Now This. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for this guy right here? Oh man, he he don't, he don't need like he just needs to keep living his truth, man, and keep like he's he's a star. Like you can't you can't you can't and his instincts and I don't, I we talk though, so we <laughs> yeah. talk and we chat and then he kind of goes, brothers, oh Dan, brothers, Daniel, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like, yeah. you're a star. I've been I've been saying yeah. it since yeah. Yeah. since yeah, yeah. since the first I was day. like, you're a star. Don't the worry, day. it's coming, it's yeah. coming. Don't it's and then coming. seeing that Before everything, seeing that last night, I was like, look at it. Look at that, like, look at him light up the screen, look at him ascend, look at him rise. You know, this is yeah. his first film. You know, and he, and he brought that performance in a read-through. I mean, you never get that. That's usually a work in progress. So he I was couldn't ready, believe ready. that either. Yeah. I couldn't believe that was your first film. Yeah. And someone told film. me that and I thought they lied to me. Yeah, but he's that yeah, great though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready for that life? Are you about that life? I'm ready for that life. I'm an artist, so I just want to tell stories, man. I'm just, I want to tell good, strong stories. I want to tell stories that have a strong social justice footprint. And it just, I've been blessed to be part of this project that happens to be one that could just be very commercial, but isn't just yes. commercial. It has a social justice soul. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that doesn't come along, and I'm just kind of blessed to be a part of that. But you're not mad about the coins it's about to make. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I live in the world. I'm a man of the world. I am a man that lives in the world. <laughs> now, you got out easy. You were that kente cloth the whole time. Yeah. But you came out shirtless, mm. fighting, were you a little afraid about that? Uh, the shirtless fighting, man. Uh, you know, we trained for a really long time uh, doing the fight scenes. It was a really big deal for us to create a character that didn't seem like he got his strength or body or all this stuff just in a gym. We wanted my character to feel like he's out there training in the mountains, running around, picking up rocks, throwing. He's physically strong, but he's not aesthetically concerned. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that made it easier because we had a clear vision of what we wanted it to be. Yeah. So, and that lent itself to me understanding who this character really was. So I don't, I wouldn't say I was afraid. It just offered an opportunity that we, you know, seized upon.